Welcome back to the WSL Post Show. We are tying a neat little bow on the day's action here at the Vans US Open of Surfing. And someone that tied up his competitors was Adriano D'Souza. Just tell me about that. He, you actually managed to catch up with him. How was he? I mean, he's so fierce competitively. He just walks the little grovel dog, man. That guy is on <laughs> fire. He, he just knows how to get it done. Uh, he's kind of a points hog. I mean, the guy's just taking everything. He's he got a world title. He's out there just, you know, stomping on fools right now. But he's a competitor, and that's yeah. what he loves to do, and that's what he's going to do. And, you know, he's one of those guys that could take the title out here, too. So, you know, we're not just going to give out the U.S. Open of Surf title to anybody, but he's one of those guys that could take it, Kipes. He punches the clock, Strider. He <laughs> goes to work. He gets it done. I mean, the question is, like, does Adriano D'Souza actually have free surfs? Or is every time he's going yeah. out into the ocean, is that a preparation for the next heat, the next contest? Yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, he looks like... He looks like he is always on the clock, like you mentioned. I mean, just such a good observation. He's one of the hardest working uh, people on the turf. You know, just uh, thinking about him being a world champion, we say he doesn't need these points. He's pretty high up on the rankings. I mean, taking away these valuable QS points from the guys that are looking to qualify, like Stewie Kennedy and uh, Davey Cathels. But look at him, just up into the lip. You know, he has the ability to make small waves look big. Like, his surfing looks big on him, which is what we like. This guy, I thought, could have taken the heat. It was kind of a 50-50 for me. I love the way Cathels was surfing out there. That board looks red hot. Uh, he looked like he had a little more like fire going in the heat, but I think the Sosa just had more turns going. CT stacked heat, all championship tour competitors in this heat. And like Rosie said, they're taking away QS points from these up and coming guys. Guys like Stu Kennedy, he's off. Yeah, he actually, uh, you know, thinking about the position that he's in on the World Tour, coming in as an injury wildcard replacement, he needs these valuable points if he wants to get a full-time spot on the Tour. Unfortunately, not, it's not to be for Stewie Kennedy. It was Adriano and Davy Cathels advancing into that round of 16. Yeah, so it was such a um, tough heat against Stewie and, and Davy. Both surfing amazing, and um, I realized those guys' campaign this contest was a brilliant, and... Um, and I realized, tried to make my strategy out there to, to beat those guys. And um, yeah, uh, you two want to get in the sand and go listen. The, I make the heat, so it's most important. And um, keep rolling, uh, cheering for Dave. He's a, um, the, the other side of the draw. And um, yeah, I can't wait for my next round. Strider, you actually asked him if he has a where he has the microchip. So you know, how does he respond to something like that? Did you get? Well, yeah, he said he was. You know, he does train. The, the question was, you know, where's the microchip? Because you're a machine, Adriano, and he is a machine. The guy just hammers away, just shoves it down your throat. He's gonna make you eat it every time. And the thing is, he, he just just smashes it every time. But he did say that you know he trains a lot. That's what he does. And like. To your point, I don't know if he does have free surfs. I don't know if he even just goes out there for a good time anymore. He's, he's just, when you see the guy's board, that thing's a NASCAR. He's got like 14 different <laughs> logos on it. You're right. Yeah, well, he's defending World Shaft. He's got a board full of stickers, okay? He's got all this support. He has the pride of a country behind him. And uh, like you said, he goes to work. He grinds away. He's very competitive. And another thing is he's really, really hungry. Yep, and you know what is fun? That hard work paying off. And when that hard work pays off, you win world titles. So we are going to have a deeper insight on Adriano D'Souza when we get back from the break, see what makes this guy tick and what he does enjoy in his off time. Stay with us.
Welcome back to the WSL Post Show. We are just marching through the round here on the QS 10,000. We've already got quarterfinals set for the ladies' competition. But someone that we're talking about before the break, Adriana D'Souza, he is our 2015 world champ. So much respect, reaching that ultimate goal that he set out for himself. And we actually got to catch up with him. Look at this profile on Adriana D'Souza. We are into the countdown. Adriano de Souza has priority, so he's going to close this one out by taking this wave. A big moment for all of Brazil. Now, here in the Horn Sound, it is official. Adriano de Souza is the 2015 world champion. An absolute hero for all of the world of surfing, the leader of the Brazilian storm. I think I've been made friends with all. Nunca deixou de ser uma pessoa humilde. Todos esses resultados dele, acho que não veio à toa. Não deixou de ser aquela pessoa que ele era antes de ser o campeão mundial. Sendo essa pessoa que ele é. Tão pura e verdadeira. Tudo aconteceu uh, da maneira mais mágica que podia acontecer. E eu acho que no país que a gente mora, uh, a gente tem uma falta de ídolos. E eu acho que com essas características, isso faz um ídolo. A gente precisa disso. Essa conquista do Adriano contagiou muita gente, desde que ele veio pequenininho ou lá de um lugar muito simples do Guarujá e ganhou uma prancha do irmão e, e ali começou aquele desenvolvimento na carreira e isso é, eu acho que é um exemplo de vida. Acho que é muito legal ter o Adriano como esse grande exemplo do Brasil. Ele não vem apenas é, querendo conquistar algo para ele ou ganhar, ele fez isso tudo até hoje para ajudar a família, entendeu? Isso é o que eu mais gosto nele, assim. Muito gratificante para mim ter né, nascido e criado na favela, porque né, me transformou na pessoa que eu sou. Eu hoje eu enxergo e vivo uma outra realidade, consegui tirar meus familiares de lá. Não deixa de ser um lugar perigoso, mas foi o lugar que eu nasci e, e tenho muito prestígio de ter vindo de lá, né? Fui criado na rua de barro, sem expectativa de vida, sem futuro, sem qualidade de vida. Mas hoje eu vivo num outro mundo. Graças a Deus, o anjo deu muita força para ele. É, essa ideia do Levar Silvio foi uma ideia muito, muito boa. Muito boa, graças a Deus. Sempre acreditei que ele ia ser fazendo e conseguiu. A senhora já está entendendo como é que funciona? Não, não, não. Você está até tentando ganhar. Ele não ganhou apenas um título mundial ou um campeonato no Pag Master. Ele ganhou a vida. Foi uma vitória de vida. Foi uma conquista linda. Quero inspirar milhares de crianças que estavam ou estão na mesma situação que eu, né? Nasci num lugar zero e cheguei ao topo do mundo. Talk about an inspiring person, Adriana de Souza, taking a board that his brother bought for him for seven dollars, investing that, you know, making a career for himself and taking his family, you know, out of out of that situation and creating a life for himself. You have to just find 
you know, so much, he's so much inspiration from that story. Well, you just, it's love, right? You really get uh, a good understanding, you know, of people who have the drive to do something and you go after it and the hard work paid off and his love for surfing and his, you know, whole, whole thing he had going on as a youngster just followed through and follow your dreams and that's what he did. And it got him to where he wanted to be, and, and now he's a world champion. And it was a victory in life. Like he said, it's, like, it's such a true thing. You know? It's not just a title or a pipe masters, you know, but your, your victory is a whole full pie experience, man. And to get that, it was just, that piece was amazing. I got chicken skin. I got chicken skin watching that. And you know, I think Adrian D'Souza, uh, not just an interesting surf story, this is an interesting story, inspirational story in all of sports. So, um, wow, you know, great piece.